So everyone here knows my dad, Titan, right? I was fresh out of high school when I first started working for him at 18 years old. Almost immediately, I started running lathes. Dad is the best at running mills, and he's really good at running lathes too, but he wanted his son to specialize in lathes so that he could focus on running the mills and I could focus on running the lathes. That way we could work off each other and be a great team. It was really easy at first. All I had to do was load in some second op parts where you just pop them into the lathe, push the button, and check the tolerances. If things started to move, I'd call the supervisor over to make adjustments, but other than that, I just had to keep the machine running as fast as I could. Then we had jobs where we had to load in fresh bars into the machine and run out as many parts as you could from one bar for the first operation. For the first few, all the bars were already cut, all to the same length. All I had to do was load it into the machine when I ran out one of the bars. Sadly, we weren't doing it in a machine with a bar feeder, which would have solved a lot of this trouble. But then one day when I was running this machine, we were running a plastic job. We had bars cut to the usual four foot length, but then there were a couple bars that were longer, like six feet long. I ran a few of the four footers like I usually do, and then I started thinking, what if I ran the longer one? I'd get a few more parts out of it, and that'd be less time I have to spend loading in new bars. i just run the six footer, and we'll let Night Shift run the four footers. That way I wouldn't have to go back and forth as much. So I decided to load in the six foot long bar thinking I was a genius trying to save some time. I pushed the button running full speed full rapid at 4000 RPM thinking absolutely nothing bad could possibly happen. And as soon as I hit that button, the most god awful noise and roar came from the back of the machine. Things were slamming. I was struggling to find the big red emergency stop button and I hit it as hard as I could. And when I looked over, part of the bar was missing. It was jammed into the corner of the shop, into the wall. And when I looked, part of the bar was missing out of the back of the machine. Heck, the panel on the back of the machine was missing. That thing was like marred up. Part of the bar jammed into the corner of the shop. I was missing about two feet of it. That was in the wall. There was a guy that was walking by. He's on the ground covering his head. People were yelling. Everybody within five blocks of our shop probably heard this noise. Like I had everybody looking at me trying to figure out what just happened. Basically what happened? I loaded in a bar that was too long for that machine and I turned it into a propeller and completely annihilated the back of the machine. I almost killed somebody. Thankfully, that bar didn't hit anyone. Nobody was hurt. That machine was able to get repaired eventually, but I did learn a very, very valuable lesson from this. Do not cut corners when working with these machines and know everything about it front to back on how to run it. And because of this experience, I think I came out from it a little bit better because whenever I train somebody on these machines, I think of everything that could possibly go wrong when this person is running the machine. And I make sure that they know it. Even if it's something that seems obvious, like, why are you telling me this? Of course, I'm not gonna do that. I want them to know everything that could happen when they're running this machine and that job. Tolerance going out, worst case scenarios, they need to know it. And if they think that they wanna change up something, that's fine, but they need to run it by me or whoever's the supervisor in charge. It's also important to consider automation solutions when you're setting up these jobs, like bar feeders, part pullers, part catchers, robot because then you just have all the bars ready ahead of time and you would just need somebody to come by once in a while to check for quality. It gets rid of some of this human error that could possibly happen when you have somebody running the job. Of course, even with all of these automation solutions, you'd still need to know what you're doing. Like you can't have somebody loading in a, let's say a six foot bar into the machine, even with a bar feeder. Anyway, it was a terrible experience, but at the same time, I'm a little glad it happened because I don't think I would be the same today.